Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. It was created to perform an independent audit of the government's financial transactions, to determine the efficiency with which financial affairs of federal agencies are managed and to submit to the Congress in specific and annual reports its findings as to financial condition of the government. Make your mark, take our lead. What is the Impoundment Control Act? The Congressional Budget and Impoundment Control Act of 1974 ICA, reasserted Congress's power of the purse. The act also created the House and Senate Budget Committees and the Congressional Budget Office. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. The Budget and Accounting Act of 1921 gave the President overall responsibility for budget planning by requiring him to submit an annual, comprehensive budget proposal to the Congress. That act also expanded the President's control over budgetary information by establishing the Bureau of the Budget renamed the office. Take our lead. The President's budget proposal serves as a starting point for the Congress to consider. Congress is under no obligation to adopt all or any of the President's budget and often makes significant changes. Make your mark, take our lead. One lawmakers created CBO to give the Congress a stronger role in budget matters. CBO was established under the Congressional Budget Act of 1974 to provide objective, nonpartisan information that would support the budget process. CBO's mission is to help the Congress make effective budget and economic policy. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. The act was passed because congressional representatives thought that President Nixon had abused his power of impoundment by withholding funds for programs he opposed. The act, especially after Train v. City of New York, 1975, effectively removed the presidential power of impoundment. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.